Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineer Tech Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss Optum Global Solution, so Optum Global Solution interview question for automation test engineer as experience due to five year, and this is the first round for the technical round. So let's move. You know, uh, this the first question is always tell me about yourself. So what basically you have to uh, you know, give the answers for the if interviewer will ask you, tell me about yourself. So you have to highlight your experience, relevant experience, a skill set, roles and responsibility. Okay, so we have already one playlist for real time interview question and answer. So end of the video, I will say that, uh, you know, how to get the proper answer and how to do the practice for this all common uh, question and answer and you will get definitely whatever you know you are able to explain in front of the interviewer and you will get more confidence so let's move in the second question so draw diagram for framework so let me show you one simple framework i will come on that for uh, this question just be with me okay so here you can see uh, we having the another question is uh, how many locators are there in selenium so we having the eight locators in the selenium xpath CSS selector link text partial link text uh, you know all this xpath we have i'll share that list later okay so what is the select class so select class means you know if you inspect the element you will get some select uh, you know tag that tag you know uh, if you have a data tag then we can use just give me one second then we can use you know select class so that select class by using the select class we can handle the drop down operation in selenium so what is the action class in the selenium so action class so by using the action class we can perform the operation of mouse uh, event and keyboard operation so you have to create an object of the action classes and inside this we having the multiple methods so in of the video i will share the playlist and definitely will get more confidence how to get all this all answer and all if you are doing the practice for the selenium this is very easy for you another question is how to handle multiple drop down okay multiple drop down right so in the select class we having the one uh, you know method that is called uh, get options method Okay, so by using the get options method, it will return the list of the web element. So by using the get options method, we can perform a multiple window handle concept. So another question is, what is a string? A string is a special class in Java, and this is the inbuilt class. Okay, so we having the many things inside this string. Okay, so if you want to explore the Java skill. We have a paid course also, and we have a all you know free course available in your YouTube. You can learn from the YouTube. I will share the end of the video as well. So why a string is immutable? Okay, immutable means we cannot change. Okay, a string is immutable. Once you can create an object of the string, we are not able to modify that object. If you will try to modify that object, then what will happen? One unnecessary object will be created and that will create a garbage collector. So finally, what you can tell a string is immutable. If you will create an object of the a string, we are not able to modify that object. Another question is what is the difference between a string and a string buffer? So let me show you some point regarding a string and a string buffer. Okay. So a string and a string buffer. So we have collected some point regarding a string and a string buffer. So first point, you know, a string is immutable and a string buffer is mutable. What do you meaning of that? Immutable means you cannot change that object, but a string buffer is uh, mutable. You can change, we can use existing object. Okay, so same example just I have written here, just you can execute in your system. If you will contact this, then what will happen? The output will come only Java. When you will use a string buffer and a string, you can append it, then what happened? You will get a, a Java, you uh, know, a selenium. So here we are able to modify the object, here we are not able to modify. 
second difference is in a string you know what happened in a string equals method is overridden equals method will compare the content okay but in the string buffer equals method is not uh, overridden then what will happen here if you will execute this code then this double equal operator will compare this uh, reference but equals operator sorry equals method will compare this content so when you will compare by using the equals method then here output will come true because both are you know matching but if you will compare with a string and a string a, a string buffer so what will happen here equals method is not overridden okay so what will happen it won't be compare the content it will compare only reference in both case double equal operator only uh, it, it will it will compare the only reference it will not compare the content because in the string buffer equals method is not um, you know uh, overridden so that's why it will compare the uh, reference not a content okay so this is the another questions let me move in the another questions so another question is what is null pointer exception so that is very painful exception in java and this uh, this is exception coming from the java but if you will uh, write the selenium code also so then you will get also this exception as well because we use java and selenium code right so what happened if object is not pointing for that object and you will uh, uh, if reference is not pointing or object is not pointing for the proper object in this case you will get null pointer exception so you have to debug the code and you have to find the solution okay so how to handle this you have to uh, you know uh, use the proper object to you know it will initialize the proper it will point the proper object otherwise at a run time you will get a null pointer exception okay so what is the difference between set array list and link list so set so I'll also give you some point regarding array list, link list, and set. So set is a collection. Set is a separate collection. So by using a set is working on the hashing algorithm. In the set, uh, you know, uh, duplicates object are not allowed. But if you will go for the list, so list is a, uh, you know, like in the list, we can store the duplicate object also. And index uh, list is working on the indexing order okay list will work on the index so array list and link list is the implementation class of list so whatever the properties and behavior which is available in array list all the properties and behavior by default available in array list and link list so array list is the best choice if our frequent operation is retrieval operation retrieval means one by one but link list is the best choice in our operation uh, insertion and deletion in the middle so just i can give you simple examples so same point it is there you can just make the nodes and you can explain as per the interviewer so what happened array list and link list so what is the major difference between array list and link list array list you know working on the index only here there is no implementation of double link list Okay, so if you have a ret retrieval operation one by one, right, then we should go for array list, data will store like that. But link list, if you want to insert or delete in the middle, then what will happen? It will shift, right? In the array list, we will uh, add or if we will delete in the you know middle, then it will shift. Then your application will become slow. But link list, if you will delete in the middle or if you will add in the middle, then it will link from middle of the next node it there is no shifting operation happen with array list and link list so this is the major difference you can tell the same point in front of the interviewer so let's move in the another question i think that is the last one let me show you okay so this is the set array list and link list so write a code for the palindrome so now i will show you this draw the diagram for framework okay so let me i have a one a small framework so just i want to show you that framework so this is the any frameworks we are developing on the 
Maven structure or Maven project. So in the Maven project, so how you can explain the architecture or you can just take this screenshot and you can just make the diagram. So this is the one simple framework I'm going to share with you. So you can explain the same also. So any project be having the Maven structure. In Maven structure, we having the main folder and test folder. You can see we have a main folder and test folder. The main things here, you have a pom.xml file. Inside this pom.xml file, we are adding all the dependency as per your project requirement. Okay, so we are adding all the dependency as per the project requirement. If you already know, or if you don't know, you know the Selenium and Java, please learn properly. Then you will get the more confidence. Okay, interview question and answer means only you are getting some uh, idea how the you know top level of the MNC company is asking these questions. Okay, so this is your you have to add all the dependency. Then you can see in the main folder, we having the one business library. Inside this business library, we have developed all the common, uh, you know, like uh, we having the common requirement, like you are launching the browser, you are using the extend report, you are using how to read the data from the Excel, how to write the data from the Excel. We have a handler class. So here we have a, all the reusable method for Selenium. And we have an Excel leader. So again, this is the part of uh, only Excel read. So this is the one part you have to explain. This is your business library inside this business library. Whatever the common requirement we have in this library, we have developed. Then we have a POM, page object class. So in the, inside this page object class, as per the requirement, as per the test, test cases, we are creating the POM. And here we have a test runner class. Okay, so in, the, in this test runner class, we are calling the all the method, whatever the method, and we can execute from here. Okay, so all the test cases we can automate if you don't know how to create a framework, how to develop the framework and all. So actually, uh, we are also providing the live session if you are looking for real-time project, how to do the preparation for real time project and all you can reach out to me we have a live session for that and that session is the paid session if you want to learn free you will get many tutorial on the youtube but in the paid session we are guiding the people from in to in if you are not able to crack the interview we, we take the mock interview we can assign the task like the company you are able to automate and you are and i am i'm going i share my real time experience how we are handling the project, how we are working with client, everything I will share in real time interview questions, uh, sorry, real time, uh, you know, live session. So if you are looking for the live session, you can reach out to me. Uh, and if you want to learn free, then be having the many content on the YouTube, you can learn free as well. Okay, and here you can see we have some folder as well, like we have a config folder. So here we have a properties file. So here, we are, uh, you know, just reading the URL and uh, browser from here. We are handling another part is the your test ng. So test ng, uh, you know, heart of this uh, Selenium. So everything we are managing from the test ng. We have in the XML file. We have a folder of a screenshot. When you when when you will get the failed test cases, we will get a screenshot. In the output folder, we have a, a extend report after executing. So these all the things you have to explain in your framework architecture and they will ask you have you developed this framework if you are very confident you can tell i have developed if you are not confident you can just tell i have developed some part of the framework like how to read the data from the excel how to configure you know extend report and all you can tell the same thing okay so uh, i have told you right end of the video i will tell you please go through my youtube channel so i have made already i have shared my real time interview post i real time experience with interview question and answer many people are struggling who did not work in the real time and they were asking this question you know what is the real time interview question and answer so from here if you want to explore your selenium so we have a selenium uh, playlist if you want to explore your java so we have a complete playlist for the java as well and I want to show you some real time interview question and answer. So here I have made this complete playlist 
So whatever the common question and answer in the real time we have, I have already made. So you guys can, you should not struggle much here. You can see what the challenges you have faced. What is your roles and responsibility? What is your, uh, you know, tell me about yourself. You can see here, you can explore your, this all the question, how to do the preparation for the technical round. What is your roles and responsibility in your manual testing? If you're trying a job as a manual tester, what is your roles and responsibility in your automation testing profile if you are trying as automation? What is the agile methodology in the real time? How agile methodology is working? What the challenges you have faced in your project, in your uh, uh, automation project? Here we have also explained, you know, like how I have said my real time work experience in this video. So please go through that if you are new in that channel please share and subscribe my channel and share with your friends here i am collecting also top level of interview question and answer if you are not aware if you are attending the interview for automation testing so here we have oracle nest technology ict infotech deloitte so here you will get all top level of interview questions and answers so before going for the interview you can build up yourself you can prepare well then when you will go for the interview you are very confident in front of the interviewer okay and one more thing guys so i have launched one if you are struggling in java so we have launched one paid course let me share with you so if you are looking for become a master in java skill set so this is you know like uh, in selenium profile the people are looking for your expert in the java so i have made this course and this is this is the curriculum of the course and after learning this course you can crack any interview you can develop any functionality in real time and you are very confident so we have a huge content still i am working on that if you want to enroll this course here you will get some demo video as well okay sorry here you will get some uh, demo video as well. The, the, some of the videos are public, so you can see these are the demo videos. So you can just go through this course. If you like this content, please enroll and all. And this is not for like mandatory to like, then you can enroll. Otherwise, you can learn from free in my YouTube channel as well. Yeah, in my paid course, little bit, I have given the more content as compared to YouTube channel and definitely you will get more profitable as per your YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching this video your feedback your comment is very important please comment below are you attending the interview are you attending interview in which profile did you work before uh, in automation profile please comment below and reach out to me if you are facing any problem related to the interview and in the last please share and subscribe bell icon when i will upload any new video you will get you know notification of new video so thank you so much guys see you in the next video